What's up everybody? Welcome to the Block Sports Report and I'm your host Keith Allen. I'm just coming off a of vacation. We got highlights from a Region 1 Division Final, Division 1 Final, and the Region 1 of the high school playoffs, and we got news about the Cavs, Ohio State, Cincinnati, and the Browns. First we're going to go to the Region 1 Division Final with Glenville facing Solon. Solon starts to score off with this 17-yard run by Christian Jackson, giving Solon a 7-0 lead. Then Glenville strikes right back, tying the score on his four-yard TD pass from Cordell Jones to Shane Wynn, tying the score at seven. Then Glenville takes the lead on his 45 TD, TD pass from Cordell Jones to Shane Wynn, putting Glenville up 14 to seven. Then Glenville scores again, taking a 21-7 lead on his two-yard run by Glenville's running back, Walton. Then just before the half, after a Solon turnover, Cordell Jones finds Shane Wynn in the corner of the end zone for a 33-yard touch pa touchdown pass, and Glenville goes into the half with a commanding 28-7 lead. But Solon didn't give up. They scored on his two-yard run by Christian Jackson, making the score 28-14. And after a fumble and a costly roughing the kicker penalty from Glenville, Solon strikes back deep into Glenville territory on his 28-yard pass. And then after the 28-yard pass out the Wildcat formation, Chris Humphrey scores from three yards out, making the score 28-21. If things weren't bad, they just got worse for Glenville after this high snap on a punt attempt by Christian Bryant where he got tackled deep in Glenville territory. Then Solon's Chris Humphrey scores again on this four-yard run, but the extra point was blocked, making the score 28-27. Solon had one last chance to pull it out, but a 50-yard field goal attempt was wide and no good, and Glenville survives 28-27. The Glenville Tar Blooders will face Maslin next week at Infocision Stadium at Akron University. Ohio State is smelling roses as they defeated the Michigan Wolverines 21 to 10. Ohio State 10 and 2 will take on a yet to be determined opponent in the Rose Bowl on January 1st. The Cincinnati Bearcats were idle this past week, but they will be taking on the Fighting Illini Friday at Cincinnati. The Bearcats are still undefeated at 10 and 0 and are ranked fifth in the BCS standings. The Cleveland Browns, despite career highs in passing from Brady Quinn, lost to the Detroit Lions 38-37. The Detroit Lions scored on the last play of the game after a pass interference call put the ball at the Browns one yard line. Matt Stafford threw for a career high 444 yards and five TD passes. Brady Quinn threw for four TD passes and a career high 304 yards. The Browns 1-9 on that trek to 1-15 in the first round draft pick will face the Cincinnati Bengals next week in Cincinnati. The Cleveland Cavaliers are in first place, 10-4 in the Central Division. They're off till Wednesday when they face the Detroit Pistons, who are 5-8. I'd like to say congratulations to Maple Heights, Lake Catholic, and Chagrin Falls, along with Glenville, for making the semi state semifinals in the Ohio High School playoffs. Good luck to you, all of you this weekend. This is Keith Allen for the Block Sports Report. And until next week, I'll see you.